السكينة والثقة والرضا التي يؤمنها التصميم الداخلي لهذا المنزل في مكسيكو يقابلها منزل ينتمي إلى فصيلة العمارة الخضراء بالكامل كما حال هذا البيت في كاليفورنيا أما في سنغافورة فنتعرف على حيل هندسية في بناء بيت ذات خصوصية في موقعه أما البيت المنتجع فيمكن أن يتجسد في فيلا بافيتا في إندونيسيا has its a healing architecture uh, even if it has all these uh, stone and steel and glass it has a feeling of uh, uh, intimacy that really enlightens the soul of the people who live here hola qatar tv welcome to mexico city my name is manolo mestre and i'm a designer and architect house is such a successful house it's amazing how how functional how easy to live and it's a very large house it's almost 30,000 square feet it's amazing to realize that this house is built in the middle of a 25 million people city. As you, when you arrive into the lobby, you have this beautiful courtyard surrounded by the most amazing garden. And we have uh, a huehuete, which means the wise old man. And this is a tree that grew for 500 years, so they're still there. As you come in, the door is probably three or four meters high, and it opens the full length of the height of the, of the foyer d'entrée. As you walk through the hallway, you have this culture in this right side with a light source on the top. And that sculpture is made with ping pong balls, which is very interesting and gives a beautiful texture to the, to the whole wall and gives a wonderful atmosphere to the, to the entrance. If there is a secret door in the foyer d'entrée that leads you into the media room, التفرد والفهم العميق للأشياء يبرز في داخلية البيت حيث الكنبة واللوحة والجدار والضوء يتمزجان في معزوفة بصرية ميزاتها العمق والبعد الثقافي والراحة اللامحدودة So we're sitting now in the living room and it's just beautiful to be here and having all this light and uh, the arrival to the, to the dining room which is integrated but has this kind of very sculptural, bulky wooden doors that open up and close the space. الفرادة ليست فقط في لوحاته الفنية التي تجعل جدرانه أقرب إلى جدران متحفية 
بل تتجلى الفرادة في مفروشات المنزل ومنها غرفة الطعام ذات المقاعد المنفردة والمزدوجة والطاولة الرخامية ذات العروق النادرة التي تشكل لوحات من المتعة والإبداع. And the dining room is made of four different tables, and these four different tables make different arrangements depending on the amount of people that you have for lunch. And we want it to be also kind of funky and fun, so we have double chairs and individual chairs, so you can be playful about who sits in the double chairs and who sits in the. This house is a container for the art. And as an art container, it's very mute. So I wanted to keep everything very smooth and simple and quiet. The family room, which is a place where they have lunch, where they, have, uh, they spend all, lots of hours. And originally it was meant to be used a lot, but suddenly by opening the doors completely from side to side, they tend to be more time outside in the terrace because the weather in Mexico is the most fantastic weather all year round. The master bedroom has an amazing collection of photographs that have all these uh, um, bottles with messages written by all the art critics. And next to it, a terrace that is being used by the wife of the owner. So the whole idea in the design was creating all these movement and levels and very high ceilings. It has that kind of um, uh, intimacy created by the sense of space. Gracias Qatar TV for coming to Mexico City. I'm very happy to share with you this beautiful house and the art that it contains. بعد الفاصل This house is not only a greenhouse, it's LEED certified. a greenhouse because it's a sustainable project uh, that from the design to construction ut utilizes uh, sustainable methods of construction and materials. Hello Qatar TV, I'm Beth Holden, I'm an architect and welcome to the greenhouse. The existing house had two houses and what I did with the design was join the two houses to make a courtyard to uh, create a cooling system throughout the house and the reason the stair is a sculptural stair is placed in its location is because the warm air is sucked through the stairwell and there's two skylights at the top of the stair which keep the air circulating. This house is not only a greenhouse, it's LEED certified. So you are rated by um, the method of construction, 
during construction, for example, any of the ductways for the heating system or the air conditioning, we would cover it with plastic so there's not any outdoor contaminants coming into the house. Um, the concrete floor that we use, part of it was from the existing uh, structures. So we reused what we could and then we added new structure to the existing uh, construction of the house. Uh, in the living room, we have our main dining room. Uh, the owners, they eat. The island in the kitchen has bar seating, uh, but we have a more formal dining room that uh, is right in front of the glass sliding windows, and that can open up so you're eating inside, outside. All of the lighting in the house is LED, and so also with the shades, um, there's automatic shades in the house, and at certain times of the day when the sun hits one of the windows, the shades will automatically um, go down and close uh, to conserve energy. Uh, the second level of the house, uh, we have the master bedroom, which is in the central part of the house. The entire structure of the house is pushed back, so we have a very large deck. So all of the doors open, so the rooms have an extended space, which really gives the feeling of being inside, outside when the doors are open. There are two uh, corner bedrooms. One was used as an office, and then the two smaller rooms, those are for the children. So there's the daughter's bedroom and then the little boy's bedroom where we have a built-in bed, a red bed. When you enter out of the house onto the roof, it's a spectacular view of the city. And on our roof, we have a dining room table, we have a small outdoor kitchen, uh, a ping pong table, sofas. It's really conceived as the new backyard. And um, we also have a vegetable garden up there. So it's really conceived as another part. It's an extension of the house. On top of the roof, we have a structure that is shading the roof because we receive so much sun on top of the roof and we put solar panels. So the solar panels on the roof are generating about 95% of the electricity for the entire house. The kitchen of the house is located at the southwest part of the house and it uh, opens up completely to the pool courtyard so it becomes an extension of that outdoor space. It's a custom designed Corian uh, uh, island and uh, it is basically the shape of the house. Thank you, Qatar TV, for checking out the greenhouse in Los Angeles, California. Thank you. بساط من الأخضر العشبي يغلف سطح البيت. وكل المساحات الخارجية المكشوفة للشمس ما يعطي البيت شخصية عضوية متناسقة مع البيئة أسلوب معماري معاصر استطاع أن يتحاشى التصاق الجيران به من جهة وقربه من الشارع من جهة أخرى عبر خطوط هندسية تتماشى مع التطور المعماري 
الذي لحق ببلد مثل سنغافورة. This piece of land is located just next to the highway, and it's surrounded by neighbors, which is about four meters away. So you got a highway and three other sides uh, that's pretty much built up. When I saw this piece of land, the first thing I thought, you know, was to actually take advantage of the terrain and build the house, okay, one level downward into the basement. So it kind of creates a, a very, very internalized courtyard naturally, and that shields the sound from the highway, and also it becomes a very, very private space. جزء كبير من البيت بني تحت مستوى الشارع ليكون بعيدا عن النظر وجاء البسين ليكون نقطة الوسط تتمحور حوله جلسات ومرافق واحدة تصعد بك إلى غرف المنامة وأخرى إلى مكتب صاحب المنزل um, There's lots of greenery uh, in the house we, we try to create as much greenery uh, we possibly can yeah, in, in this very, very tight site. Uh, and the reason for this is that in, in the tropics, we need this to kind of cool the house down, you know, through uh, a very natural, passive, transpirational uh, cooling. And also we introduced a lot of water bodies right in the middle of the house, in the courtyard, uh, we created this large uh, pool, okay? It's a swimming pool and it also acts as a heat sink. Uh, and that actually helps to kind of bring the temperature down, okay, in the middle of the house. And, and outside of this, uh, in, the, in the perimeter of the house, we created, you know, smaller courtyards with koi ponds uh, and, and other water features, okay, to again, you know, uh, cool the house. <laughs> Uh, wanted the study to be in, in, uh, in the front wing basically because the, it's a very very public space where he has his colleagues or some of his clients who come you can walk right into it okay without actually going through the house yeah and it's it's a very very open space he wanted as much light into this space as, as possible so it looks like a floating uh, wooden platform with glass around it and with a central cylindrical uh, bathroom, okay, a private bathroom situated in the middle of the house. أكثر من سر هندسي في هذا المنزل يجعله مميزا في قدرته على تأمين حياة صحية بكل المقاييس. From the living room, you're connected to the dining room, and here we have uh, a 16-seater dining table from Polyform, uh, and the chairs too are from Polyform. And this house is built for multi-generation living. Uh, the owners of the house have their parents living with them. We wanted, you know, uh, the room to be as open as possible. So we had glass all around. Uh, beside the master bedroom, uh, we actually have the, um, the master suite bathroom in which uh, it's organized in a very, very different way in which we kind of place all the, the wares, the bathtub, the sinks, right in the center of the room. The 
form of the house is very much like a, a piece of carpet. If you can imagine a piece of carpet and you cut a hole in the centre. Thank you, Kata TV, for coming to Singapore to feature this house. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. Badar Fawcett So we have an architecture, what we call it in this architecture, which is a combination of a, a colonial architecture, which is a European architecture mixed with the local tropical architecture, which is also in Bali, we see a lot in the palaces. Hello, my name is Putu Edismara. I'm the architect of Villa Batavia. We are in uh, Seminyak area now. Welcome to Bali. Welcome to Qatar TV. We try to adapt as much as possible. We got this uh, kind of a uh, uh, tropical feeling inside. And also the key is how to to make the connection between inside and outside seamless. You see, I provide a lot of veranda, big terraces, even the living room upstairs is open so people can enjoy the breeze. And you can see also the, the tropical garden around it. So when you come here, it's, it's feel like a paradise. The name of Batavia also is taken from the, the, the original name of Jakarta, the capital city of Indonesia, because in Dutch era, uh, Jakarta was named Batavia. Uh, we have a swimming pool with uh, what I call it um, organic shape with, uh, with uh, falling water, so you can hear the, 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 the water trickling in the morning, birds singing, you know. So, so it's, it's, it's something quite different when you came to this villa, you feel uh, forget about your, your problem. Uh, European architecture and Balinese architecture has uh, two different things. In Europe, because you have, they have a four season, so they, 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 they try to, to, to build the building in one block. Because sometimes in, in the in the win, in winter time it's so cold, nobody want to wandering around outside. But here, if you can see, the building is separated. That is the Balinese concept, actually. So the detachment of the building actually make people experience the outside, see a lots of gardening, you know, get in touch to outside, things like that. Even though in terms of styling proportion, is a European kind of a architecture. <laughs> الدخول إلى الفيلا لا يعزلك عن الخارج لأن المساحات الداخلية الرحبة والفتوحات اللامحدودة تجعل التواصل مع الحديقة أمرا بديهيا في ظل غياب المفروشات الكثيرة واقتصارها على المريح والعملي كما أن السقف المرتفع ساهم في اتساع الرؤية As you see now, we are standing in the living room, what I call a living room. Usually we have the living room enclosed, but this one actually we make it open. As you, as, as you can see behind me, we have the louver windows actually, which is often we can see a lot in the, in the typical uh, Indes kind of architecture. The local wood used here uh, uh, is quite nice. The flooring also, we use uh, uh, wooden flooring. But the main point actually is the, the experience of the living outside, but still safe from the from the rain and the, and, the, and the sun. So the, in, 
interior actually we we employ a lot of uh, furniture which is use uh, thick wood, the Japanese thick wood which is used being used a lot for for furniture uh, in in the in the Dutch era also. Some of it we try to 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 find the original uh, piece of furniture also you know just to to refurbish it a little bit you know. But the whole experience and ambience and and the, the selection of furniture is all about telling you the era of Dutch in that time, but with the, with the Balinese surrounding.